Let's we'll see who's on over here. All right. All right, let's put the um, closer up there. We got anybody on there yet? Not yet. What the hell? Here we go. What's up, man? Welcome to the workout. So we got we got about 43 people watching so far. 16 people thumbs up and already. All right, guys, we're about ready to launch this. You guys know Bam. Oh, he's wearing his Prime Evil shirt today, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is what champions look like, absolutely. So yeah, we're gonna yeah, start yeah. out with uh, close grip pull downs. You guys remember, ask any questions as you uh, as we go along. The uh, the prime evil, I don't know if you guys have seen this one. You guys saw my Rich Piano one in my, um, the one my cousin gave me. This one's got customized by OS3 that prime evil made up for me. So we're gonna start out here and um, try to do some things that maybe you guys have never seen before, like DC chin ups. Um, Bam is actually harboring an injury too. He tore his bicep and that was been surgically repaired and he separated his shoulder and has a partial tear in the AC joint from a car accident. So both of us are, I'm a lot older than him, but. <laughs> Take it easy on me, y'all. Fix that fucking camera angle. Like that. There we go. All right, let's do it. straps for a little while <laughs> so I can build up my grip strength a little bit but we'll probably get them in soon though yeah. there's no way we're gonna hit that whole stack without using straps <sighs> um, so I'm hitting like 15 reps in the first set we're just warming up so we'll hit like you know maybe three or four sets here pretty good fix that fucking camera angle <clears throat> so you notice Byron actually has a lot longer arms he's a lot taller than I am too which makes it actually harder for him to do this exercise than for me to do it. Benching too, benching, shoulder presses, stuff like that. So the tempo up and down, um, honestly, somebody just asked, what about the tempo? I try to feel it, you know, I try not to be too explosive with it, but at the same time, I'm not really doing that super slow stuff either, so. So not sure, what do we have in there for weight? I mean, we got, there's not much weight on there, this is just the first set. And again, it's cold out where we're at now, so you gotta warm up a little more. You notice like we're wearing jackets and stuff, so that went by too fast. So, man, as they pop up here, you know, pop up in the middle. Oh, no doubt. Trust me, it'll, it'll go along. It'll go along. And you see the cable rolls today. We'll probably get that in. We'll probably get that in. Jerry, keep good, doing good work. Of course he is. <laughs> How many sets? We're just getting started. Literally, we're just getting started. This is, that was just the first warm-up set. Jerry's working on his second one now. Um, first warm-up set we probably did. We're working in like 12 to uh, 12 to uh, 15 reps. A little bit of a pause. Pause work. We're trying to get the blood circulated. Trying to get the pump. How long is your hair? <laughs> we're going back today. Yes. Only back today. We're Detroit. dressed like ninjas too, all in black. How you, how you program Detroit? <laughs> training for uh, muscle growth. So if you're, uh, I mean, muscle growth, you want to train to failure. You know, it's the fastest way to gain muscle. But you got to eat. Muscle growth has a lot to do with eating too. Eat. <laughs> how many sets for a warm up? Um, honestly, I train very instinctively now. So there's not a certain amount of warm ups. So like the first one is really the warm up for me. And now we're gonna head into working sets. So like two warm ups, pretty much. Yes, um, the abs have to stay tight or you lose control of the, the exercise. I'm 5'8 and 3 quarters. Bam is 6'1? Six, 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 yeah. six Rack pulls above the knee. Um, I think they work well. I used to do them in the past, but as far as like back workout, I think it's good for traps. 
That's my personal opinion. I did those a lot when I was younger, as well as heavy shrugs and, you know, traps grew for me pretty quick, but I was doing those, those exercises, so. Yeah, just back workout. We're just gonna do this for an hour, because I don't want to put like a two hour video up, but it's gonna be just, this is what we do, but remember, the videos that you're gonna see that follow this, Bayem and I have been filming all day. So I'll actually say this now because you guys don't really know about it. I said it on Instagram, so you might not have been there. We filmed our entire day today that led up to this, and we're gonna film afterwards. So you're gonna see what both of us do leading up to this workout to get ready for the workout, nutrition-wise, supplement-wise, you know, our days in general. And then the live workout is now, so there's gonna be a video that drops before the, that happens before this, and a video that happens after this. So basically, there's a three-part video series, but the middle of it, the workout is live, which has never been done on YouTube before. So that's, that's the big deal about this whole thing, so. This is the coolest shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what we got? Any tips on how to make sure you're isolating your back muscles? Never felt sore after doing... Yo, that's a good question. Um, with me, you you want to isolate your back. You want to be able... It's, the back is a hard hard place to hit. There's so many um, muscles hitting um, in the same area. But you want to isolate by... I like to, if you can, rotate the shoulders back and use use your elbows to pull instead of and engage the lats that way yeah. use your elbows to pull down engage the lats that way i have done like at least five exercises without even feeling my biceps starting to work if you're feeling your biceps starting to work and tire out during that workout you're definitely not engaging your lats um as much as you're using your arms hope that helps jerry always repping the sponsor hell yeah he is <laughs> <clears throat> We're on our third set here. When are you coming to Australia, Jerry? Now it's getting heavy enough where it pulls me off the seat. Jerry's getting pulled up. How you work out your neck, Jerry? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I never did. I did neck bridges when I was in high school because I wrestled in high school. But, um, you know, if you're training heavy shrugs and traps, your traps and neck will grow. How do you make sure you go to failure? Um, the best way, honestly, to have somebody take you through failure um, trying it on your own, you usually quit before you realize how much more you have left in you, so. Uh, barbell row. Last time I did barbell rows, I injured my back. I was doing 365 for sets of 12. I've gone up to 450 before. I mean, most of you guys never saw me at my biggest, which was over 270 pounds. Um, and yeah, I'm strong as a fucker, too. <laughs> Who's bigger, Jerry or the black guy? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Technically, after my blood test came back, which black guy? <laughs> Coming to feeble. I don't know. I mean, we do have somebody in the UK that's distributing for us right now. So, this guy's sitting in class right now. Should you be paying attention to school? Oh, I know this is way more it's fun, cooler. but South Africa. I don't know, man. As soon as they let, give us the okay and somebody wants us out there, I'll be there. So you see, it's starting to get heavy now. We only got a few more plates left, and we're using the whole stack already. Right now, I'm 198 and uh, five. Eight and three quarters. Oh. Endomorph. Um, your diet, whether you're endo, ecto, meso, your diet is is a key, man. Well, here's the deal: like you'll learn as you get more advanced about range of motion that you know there are ranges where you feel the tension come off the muscles and more on the joints. So if you're letting your arms come all the way up in this exercise, the joints are actually taking the workload and not the muscles. You're actually giving the muscle a break. So you notice that we don't extend all the way and don't squeeze all the way down to the bottom. Argentina, what's up, man? What percent body fat do I think I am? I have no idea. Scott, that's Scott. Scott's actually a former client. He's a good dude. They're trying to ban Kratom again. What the fuck is Kratom? What are we talking about Kratom during a workout? What we got? Can't find your product in Jersey. Prefer deadlifts or rack pulls? Uh, I kind of fluctuate between both. That's a good question, but to be honest with you, I might I might deadlift one week from the floor, and then the next week I'll do rack pulls. Um, I don't necessarily have a preference as long as I'm picking up the weight when I'm ready to do it. What division does Bam compete in? Men's physique. Men's physique, Kimmy. Depending on like uh, the height classes, I think national level has more height classes. Yeah. So it'd be like uh, you know you'd be one thing in the local regional level, then you'd be another height class in the other ones. They usually put me in uh, E class, so like right at that six foot mark. I'm like six, six feet and change. So I like to, 
I like to play, I'd say six more minutes. Six last year, <laughs> last year we did Team Universe together. It was our first national show yeah. for it together. Yeah. And um, I remember standing next to the guys in my class, and they were like 200 pounds at five, eight and a half. And I was like, holy shit. Like, I, I mean, I felt pretty good going into it, but like not that day. Back extensions or deadlift for lower back? Shit, um, deadlifts, anyway. deadlifts, man. Why not do both? Both, yeah. yeah. Do back extensions at the end of the workout. Um, you can, you can, um, you can do that like to to burn out. I would say like you know maybe four or five sets of fifteen to twenty. But in the beginning, you know, use that energy, use all the muscles you can, um, recruit all the muscle fibers you can in that back, doing the deadlifts or the rack pulls. Um, that's gonna get you that growth. And eat, eat big, lift big, get big. <laughs> you notice we're resting quite. A decent amount between sets so you have to rest to get the next set 100 like percent you can't you know i know a lot of guys like to move quick between sets because they think they're you know burning more calories but the muscle can't recover fast enough to give the next set 100 percent so make sure you rest in between jerry how's it feel to be a tank <laughs> <laughs> right now i'm more like a volkswagen bug but i mean what time is it there it is 10 after 2 p.m eastern standard time right, do you so guys stretch start? it all between sets um that's a good point i, I should i should but we're too hardcore for that, right? <laughs> I don't uh, do it should, all the time. Stretch. That's a good point. Colin, what's up, dog? Thanks for chiming in, bro. Right, um, so I'm going to hit this last set with the full stack and uh, just see how many reps we can get. Um, this would be kind of the, what I call the kill set, which would be like your hardest set of the exercise. He's taller than me. My bad, bro. I fucked up. My little short legs pulled me out of the seat. I was like, shit. <laughs> what else we got going on? UCLA press conference. Oh, the guys that stole everything. Yeah. Those guys are real popular thieves right now. How do you get veins on the bicep? <laughs> you got them. <laughs> what do you think is the best exercise for building biceps? 5 a.m. here. Building biceps, I would say uh, uh, barbell curls. Uh, uh, what's up, team? Um, barbell curls. Uh, Big Andy Bubble, what's up, doggy? Um, barbell curls, uh, hammer curls, um, easy ball curls, any type of uh, curl motion that you could think of um, for, for biceps, Alter alternating dumbbell curls, um, and go to failure as many as you can. You can do partials, it's all good. Mm -hmm. Just don't hurt yourself. I know, and a lot of times you hurt yourself not in the gym, too. That's, that's the main thing. Like, Branch Warren, all the training that he's done, Ballistic style, fell backwards on a flight of stairs and grabbed the banister and ripped his tricep off. Tore his quad, walked into a car. It's like, I mean, insane strength, crazy ballistic style training, loose form, and he gets hurt walking into a car. The landmine for bent over. This is pretty good, too. Again, something that has to be chest supported because my lower back has issues, so. Yeah, people don't say it's BS, but that's because they've never tried it or they work for another company. Uh, I train usually four days a week. Is it cold in the gym? It's a little cool in here. Yeah, you could do pull-ups or pull-downs. We're choosing to do the pull-downs today, but it may start a back workout pull-ups too. <laughs> so sometimes if you're, the stack is too heavy, you have to have somebody help you pull it down into the, to get into the seat. So, All right, so we're going to head over to the T-bar row now and uh, start those. So we'll take this thing. Like this. This is a better idea using the tripod than trying to hand it off. Hell yeah. We were originally just going to hand off the the camera back and forth, but I think this worked out all right. All right, here's a T-bar. That'll work. T-bar. Like yeah. How's that angle? Fix that fucking camera angle. You want this or you want this? She's just right here. So we're going to go for the... Uh, for the T-bar wheels, chest laying down. Yo, I see a lot of guys like doing this crazy shit. They put a lot of shit, fuck ton of weight on this thing. And they're doing all this and move. Nah, man, move the weight with with your elbows. And really try to engage that lower lat, you know? Picture like, so, turn on the back. So picture that I have strings attached, or I grab this thing, right? And I'm pulling back like this on his elbows. When you're pulling back, you're pulling back from the arms as opposed to pulling with your hands. So you're trying to pinch your elbows together in the back like somebody's got strings tied to you. So. Yeah, rows, rows and deadlifts are how do you build a thicker back. May have never had the best back, but 
Um, each back session. Um, usually I take like four or five exercises. Yeah. You know, about four or five. Four or five. And you want to get like, uh, depending on how many warms you want to do, um, I would say four to five, four or five. Oh yeah, you'll definitely get sets. pumps with the longer rest periods. Don't forget, if, if you're going to maximum failure, the body works differently than just like fucking around with a few sets here and there. So, right. rear delts are on shoulder day for me. Rear delts are shoulder day for me as well. I'm sorry. Even right. though they do get a little engaged, but no, shoulder day definitely. So we're gonna go to first set. Jerry's gonna hit it. So I'm gonna go overhand grip, which I just more comfortable with overhand. I mean, that's all. <laughs> Notice how he's not like jumping up and down and stuff like that. He's really moving the weights through through his elbows, engaging his lats. Keep your chest against the pad while doing the key. T Rose is key. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck is Jerry wearing on his feet? I know, right? Jerry's not rocking no Yeezys today. Isn't that some <laughs> shit, man? You know what I'm saying? I thought Del, he's, he's coming with Under Armour. I mean, where's he's the, uh, <laughs> the Rock Delta? Can I put it up there? The Delta Desert Sand. They're actually really good training shoes. I don't wear the Yeezys to the gym anymore because I found out you can break the boost in them. So you're doing calf raises and stuff, you can actually break the boost inside the shoe, and that sucks. What reps you going for? Uh, so 10, 12 reps. Now it's saying you're a little warm in here. What we got? Now Bam got some nice shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just some straight out of the outlet uh, solar red, solar red Nikes. Nothing. Uh, there is no ideal rep count. <laughs> Um, we just want the muscles to work and we want to... Jerry, get some lower spine injury. Give some lower spine injury um, injury workout. What pre-workout are you guys on? Hey, man. Prime Evil Black Devil. <laughs> That's what I'm using right now. <laughs> so I took the... You guys will see what we took. It's going to be in the video. Yeah, you will so. see my bottle. Um, um, pull down the arm. No, but if you pull the trap muscle and it pinched a nerve... The nerve itself could cause the, the problem on the arm. So it's crystal, crystal meth, meth probably. <laughs> Cosign for Black Devil, my man Trent. Yeah. That's very why he's bald. Steroids, man. Steroids. <laughs> Do you guys like five percent products? So again, if you watch the one that we filmed this morning, you'll see that I use uh, real food still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yes and no. I believe that throughout your career, you're going to use different rep ranges. So you may be doing low for a while moderate high reps i think it's going to change depending on uh, where you're at so stretch for your pants jerry how you shape up your beard how you shape up my beard i fucking trim it <laughs> see like you can do shit like this like this asshole and you can do like a uh, block <laughs> <laughs> see ya asshole <laughs> come on guys chime in but don't fight <laughs> I'm a man that helps me pick up Asian girls in my basement cave. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Vacuums. I think it's a... Please block these jerks. Yeah, that's what we're doing now. Yeah. How do you guys not lose hair? Genetics. That's how Jay Cutler kept all his hair. And um, King Kamali, too. Like, dude's hairline starts, like, right above his eyebrows. Best way to bulk and keep body fat low? Um, honestly, and, like, I'm, I'm keeping a leaner off-season right now. Um, I would say your fasted cardio um, and uh, certain foods and stuff like that, just depending on your diet, will keep body fat low. Those are definitely two key combinations right there. Um, That's another thing, too, that he said, you know, certain key foods. So Bam eats like I do year-round. Like, you'll see him, like, you know, in the middle of off-season with his Tupperware and not sitting there eating Wendy's or something in between clients. So. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I like five guys. <laughs> I'm not. Don't, I'm, I'm not exempt. But, you know, I'll, I'll have a cheat meal. <laughs> Dirty bulk, good or bad? Bad. All bad. There's no fuck. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> Thanks for doing this. Oh, for sure. No problem. <laughs> What you weighing, Jerry? I think he said he was uh, 198. 198. Um, I'm not a scale watcher, as you'll see on the video and stuff like that, but last Wednesday I checked in. Um, 
solid lean 204. And I'm probably going to keep, you know, nothing over 207 to 210 uh, going into next year. A pretty lean off season. Normally, I'll, I'll walk around off season at like close to 230. So, why is the gym dead? Whoa, I broke up with Chris. <laughs> huh? I'm not in that. What's that, Somebody uh, said I broke up with Chris. I'm 235. Colin, you're an ass. But you also <laughs> like to eat cookies and fucking Pop Tarts and shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could be. Sick at home. That sucks, man. I hate being sick. Yeah. I'm just getting over one. You know? I'm sick through my home. My birthday was November 4th. Fucking sick the whole time. <laughs> So I'm gonna wait till I get a lot, a little bit warmer, so I don't get get sick in here. Usually the gym at this time is empty during the day. That's why we came in at this time. So total amount of reps per body part. Um, it's instinctual, so I don't really count um reps stuff like that. If I feel like I'm maxing out of ten, I'll stop. So I do like the new Rock Deltas. I think they're good training sneakers, but. The longer you take between sets, it allows the muscular systems to recover. Don't forget, you're using the glycotic pathway and the phosphates. It's not about raising your heart rate. It's not about getting through here fast. It's not about doing cardio. It's about making sure that your muscles work. They need to recover between sets. So. Yo, y'all gotta, y'all gotta realize this is a fuck ton of knowledge when it comes to bodybuilding sitting right in front of you. So ask these questions. This shit is crazy. I'm still learning. Since 2013, I'm still learning. <laughs> can you bounce your chest like the rock? Every bodybuilder can do that shit. The peck pop of love. <laughs> I, I could never do that shit. <laughs> All right. I can never have that spasm. I swear to God. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking crazy. And believe me, I've tried. Five of five. Wait, how much caffeine are you guys taking before lifting? I'm taking 400 milligrams. You take 400? Yeah. No, he, that's what he said. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I just took one Black Devil. <laughs> that's about, about 200 right there. The Black Devil's actually been discontinued. The new one is Huracan. So if you guys are quite curious as to where it went, the Huracan is the replacement for Black Devils. So when you see me with the Huracan, then you know what time it is. <laughs> Bam, show off them games and take your hoodie <laughs> off, bro. <laughs> oh, give me one more set, man. Give me one more set. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to warm up and get a nice little sweat pump going and stuff like that, man. Well, push-ups are ways hell now. I mean, push-ups are important. I think that overall for athleticism, push-ups are. But more tests. More tests soon. Fuck yeah. So we have all the Andro products. So we were heading in a different direction to begin with. Like if you notice, we have new labels. We're reformulating um, Intracell, which is completely more badass than it was before. Reformulating Xanax, making something that is truly going to be unlike anything else that's been on the uh, the market ever um, for sleep products. So somebody just asked, what, what was my best placement in the show? Two overalls and first place. First place actually just like what? Two weeks two, ago. Two weeks ago, October 28th. Smoking uh, cigarettes and bodybuilding. I don't no. know because I've never smoked. So, I, I mean, I, honestly, anything that impairs your lungs is bad. So. Full body workouts, good or bad. They can be good. Mix them in. Um, Sessions. I prefer, I prefer breaking them up, but, you know, we're, we're competitors, so it's, it's different with bodybuilding. Workouts are usually, like, an hour at the most, and then I'm done with the, the weights. The 90s T. Michael. Yeah, no, I got, like, two or three of those shirts, but I just look fucking retarded when I wear them. Like, I walked to the gym once and did a video series in them, but, I mean, they're just, they're a little goofy looking now. Heavier lightweights for traps. I'd say heavy. Look, being yeah, fit physique. It's crystal. it's crystal. Oh, Crystal! I was like, how the fuck are you <laughs> watching? She's at work. Crystal, you should be working. I thought somebody made like a fake account. I was like, holy shit, that was fast. <laughs> that would have been shit. Nah. We're gonna get more. <laughs> kind of wanted to get a big back piece, but we'll see. <laughs> if Aaron's watching this now, no more. Fuck y'all. Nice. <laughs> 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 fuck y'all. I thought it was, he thought it was a fake BAM account. This shit is funny as hell. I see my picture pop up and say, hey, what's up, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alright, so this will be the final set of these. This one four plates, maybe six to eight reps. So if you notice, we're going like, you know, high reps, medium reps, low reps, all within one workout. So. Do you do more online training now, Jerry, or rather yes. than personal? Yeah. Mostly online. Let's see if we can get some of this in here. What is you guys can see. No, I'm. All right. Bam, you drinking milk? No, man, it's a gallon of water. Come on. <laughs> Best entry level physique show for first timers. Whatever, whatever the first show is in your area, I would, I would recommend. Uh, you know, don't. You know what? To be honest with you, man, my first show was the fucking Cutler. Um, 
in November of uh, 2013. And it was, you got to think about it, it's like right before Nationals, so everybody's trying to qualify or just kind of warm up at that show. My first show, I had like 35 guys yeah. in, my, in, my, <laughs> in my class. It's like, I don't see that type of class now, only on, but only on national levels. Okay. So, I mean, don't, don't go according to like what you think is going to be a small, you, doesn't matter who shows up. I don't care if your best friend shows up, just, just go be, to be competitive and try to do your best. Doesn't the show matter. could be small last year, but this year be a gigantic. Yeah, so my it first, happens uh, just like that. <laughs> my first physique show had 20 guys in my class, and I got 28th place. <laughs> <laughs> in the last place. So, Bam, again. So, one of the things about Bam and why you see him on my stuff, and I respect him, is he got his ass handed to him in his first show. <laughs> and um, he didn't quit. You know, like that week he was back in here training, had his Tupperware, didn't do too well at the next couple. But, again, back to the drawing board, kept eating his food, kept training, and eventually won the overall Maryland State and East Coast, and you know he went to the national level. Didn't do too well there where he wanted to. Came back down, refocused, put on a little more mass. Like they told him to. Won the uh, the Baltimore NPC two weeks ago. Like he doesn't quit. You know, in 2015 when I walked on the stage at the uh, Baltimore Gladiator, I got my ass handed to me. It was very easy to say, look, fuck this, I'm not doing well. The next show I get second. You know, the next show I got third. I'm like, fuck that. The next show I won. I won the overall in Delmarva. So it's all about not giving up. You know. If you want it, you're going to go take it. Take no two caps daily for the, the Prima Bar if you're 160. Prima Bar. Shit. See how they come in so fast you can't read them? Slow down, guys. Sorry, what's the plan? <laughs> no, app, training apps doesn't cause a blocky waist. Dude, you never take oxy. See? Shit like that. Like, what the fuck? I don't even... Come on. Kevin, don't see, nobody sees these, though. We're the only ones that can see these. Like, on the video, when it's up later, you can't Congrats see it. Congrats, so. Team Massive. Thank you, homie. Appreciate you. BCAs, I, oh man, I mean, if you're not using Intracell, I like Amino Core or that uh, Core Nutritionals ABC. Pineapple Strawberry, oh my God, fucking amazing. Is that the Baywatch theme song in the background? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Boys of Summer. They usually have like an old school rock station on here. <laughs> the Baywatch theme song. The <laughs> they do have some shitty music here. It's so actually the uh, experience. Time in the gym will help you with that mind-muscle connection. A lot of that's genetics. Your glutes are taking over. Creatine a must? No. Creatine is not a must. Oreos or Ben and Jerry's? I'm a Ben and Jerry's more than Oreos guy. That's just me. Australian Arnold. I'll definitely be the Australian Arnold as long as Spartan Subs wants us there. So, How fast can you grow arms? Arms are a body part, right? You can grow them as fast as anything else can grow. So, How fast can you grow your arms? Overnight. What's going on, man? Gone. How are you? What's your name? Caleb. Caleb, nice to meet you, man. Hop into the camera over here. What's up, man? So we invited yeah. anybody in the area yeah, that was you, wanted to come by and check it out. Caleb. So this is Caleb. Come on in here so you can see us. We're live What's right up? now. He's wearing the uh, the gorilla with a cause, James Tiny Vest. Oh no shit. Ran into him last week. He he's not that out. tiny, right? No. <laughs> yeah, he's a nice guy. I like him. I like him a lot. Yeah. So we know it was in the afternoon. It was hard for a lot of people to get here because it's like midday, but yeah. we wanted the gym to be open so that, you know, we could... Uh, Train so. Yeah. You want to train or what? Yeah, I'm just gonna get warmed up here. Okay, cool. and jump in. We're gonna hit some uh, DC chins next, so okay. we get warmed up and we'll be in over there soaking that up. Yeah, we'll pull the peel the weights. Again, always peel the weights down too, man. Jim had a key this guy said I look like the Rock. I mean, there's a lot worse people, but you can look like the Rock. <laughs> That's actually a cool. One. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you look like Charlie Brown. That was on that people for a while. You look like Charlie Brown, dude. Worst thing is you see the guy in the leg press at the gym. He's got like a hundred plates on a thing. And he walks away and there's like a little girl waiting to use it next. And she's trying to pull all those plates off the foot. Dude, just strip the weights on yourself. Or or you could be the guy that puts a hundred plates on and only be like, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> You see the one where the guy broke his knee? Oh my God, <laughs> man. His friend's like, are you okay? I'm like, He's all filming it like, oh shit, knees, oh shit. His knee's backwards. Snapped. Like, are you okay? No, you're not okay. There's nothing about that's okay. <laughs> Let's go to the Smith machine. So if you guys don't know what these are, they're called DC chins. Made popular by Dante Trudell. Not Trudel, Dante Trudell, dog crap. We'll use that bench right there, that chair. Let's see if that's a good angle like that. That'll work. Yeah. So let's take the uh, chair here. Pull that out over here. Should be good. 
Let's move that camera around and fix the fucking camera. Now these are gonna be dope. I've seen people do these with uh, easy bar across their laps. Yeah, yep. You're you gonna can fucking love this shit. Add this in your back arsenal at least. You know, if you're training, I train back twice a week because uh, one of my critiques was like uh, thicker, lower lats. And, Actually, I don't even need straps. I mean, I'm just always trying to get wider. That's the name of the game in physique. It starts with the shoulders. You heard what he just said. If he doesn't have to use straps, he doesn't use them. Nice. So slight knee bend. Again, he's still pulling with the elbows. Best exercise for lower lats. Um, shit, I always like the uh, the bent over rows, and um, and the uh, the straight, you know, the the uh, the rope straight arm pull downs. Definitely engage those lats. The best right there. Hurts a little bit. No bent over row, she said. I, I agree with you, Crystal. Because every time I do them, I want to cripple for like a week. Did you keep a punch uh, grip? So mine's about a little bit wider than the shoulders grip. Whatever's comfortable for you, whatever you like to do, chin ups. Can you do steroid to suboxone? I think so. I mean, I was. Ab wheel. Um, I suck at it. I don't really use it that much because I suck at it, but. I like Elliot, or Elgin Elliot. You notice this is a very slow, smooth, controlled movement. Your first few reps, five, six, seven reps, it doesn't feel that heavy, but all of a sudden, it kicks you in the ass. Um, no, I don't usually change the, uh, the body parts up. My body parts have been the same for like 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, six years now. It's been the same pretty much. Oh, and another another one for good uh, good exercise for lower lats. Um, Chris asked that is uh, bent over rows. You can't get away from that. <laughs> yeah, bent over rows. Uh, bent over rows. I'm sorry, uh, dumbbell rows definitely. But you got to do it at that angle um, and really in, in use your elbow and engage that lower lat as much as possible. It, it's angles. It's all about angles, baby. <laughs> Contest diet macros change, so they're never the same. So every show you do, it's different. I mean, the more your body progresses. Even when you're in off-season, like, you can't just do the same thing all the time. It has to change. It has to adapt as you adapt. So as you get bigger, you're going to need more amino acids. You're going to need more you fuel. Chest so. first cycle. Jesus Christ. Right? Isn't exercise good if you are working to get yes. better with pull-ups? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Any, anything like this or the, uh, or the assisted pull-up uh, row to, to get that, uh, that, that stretch and, and really um, you want, to, you want mat, uh, most contraction, it's, it's the motion. It's not necessarily you pulling your body. It's the motion and getting that connection with your, uh, with your lats. So we're not doing these, but I'll show you this exercise anyway. For those of you out there, like Chris was just saying that I'm having a hard time with the chin-ups. So use the Smith machine instead of a chin-up bar. I don't think you can hear this one. Use the Smith instead of a chin-up bar. Keep your feet on the ground. And as you're pulling up, if you get stuck, help yourself out just to get through that and then let it go and back down again. You can do it, actually use a BOSU ball too like that if you want more stability. But that's a real good one right there. Shit, I felt the stretch myself. <laughs> but it's starting to get hot in here. All right. Kelby, you want to hop in, man? Hell yeah. Yeah, what are you doing? Have you done these DC chin-ups? Best way to lose weight fast. Diet. Jerry, you ever get a neck tattoo? Uh, right there. He's yeah, got one. My neck too. On the back of his neck. Free wings on me if I see some rack pulls. <laughs> Big Kyle. <laughs> you know what? That might happen. That might happen, brother. Nice. I'll hold this for you. So you're going to go about shoulders width apart, or wherever's good for you for chin-up wise. Okay. Feet up on the bench. Guest star appearance. Come on, y'all. This is your first time doing these? Yeah. Okay, so it's cool. We have somebody who's doing it for the first time. Let's bring it a little closer. One. All right. Bend your knees a little bit. Right there. All right. So now pretend you're doing a chin-up. Pull straight up. Good. Slow on the way down. That's it. So explosive on the way up. Slower the way down. That's it. Good. Control. Good. Good. Nice. Seven. Nice and easy. You're going to go straight to failure. Good. Yeah, keep them going. Come on. Yep. Good. Now we got five. Ready? Up. Come on. Up. Good. Five. Come on. Up. All the way up. Pull. Four. Good. Come on. Come on. Up. Up. Three. Come on. Two. Two more. Come on. Up. Up. One. One more. 
One, come on, Caleb, pull, good. Good job, bro. So just like that. Now it's his first time doing it, you can see he's a little bit shaky because his stability muscles work a little bit differently because he's never done it before, but eventually, nice. you know, he'll be doing those and he won't shake at all. So. Prime Evil Labs. <laughs> he's not even sponsored by them, he just he, he believes in the products. I believe in the just products, saying. man. They work. That is serious in the workout today for sure. Cool. Add him in. So you're not really using your legs. Your legs are there to keep you from um, swinging back and forth, help a little bit of stability, but you're not pushing with your legs. Ready? Yep, here we go. So we'll do one more of these, but we'll add weight for the third set. See the leg, hang on. See how his feet are on there? So you're not really using the leg. The feet are a pivot point. Bam's been training for, oh shit, so 2012, I think, was his first show. It's taking him about three or four years to get the size he is now. But again, he did it in a shorter amount of time because he literally doesn't take off season as off time. It's improvement season, which means that you get better. You don't just fuck off on your diet and forget doing shit. You'll see him in here with his Tupperware, even though it's not, you know, there's six months out from a show, he's got his Tupperware with him, drinking his water, taking his supplements. Every workout counts. It's not like he comes in here and fucks around. This is probably the most we fuck around during a workout, to be honest with you, because we're doing this. But um, normally I put my headphones in, and like I've had my neighbor walk by me in the gym. I didn't even fucking see him. You know, I got home and I saw him outside. He said, Hey, man, I said, How do you at the gym? And he was like, I, was, I didn't even fucking see him. Or Aaron has walked into the gym, I didn't even know she was there. So, how do you make your shoulders big like that? Like that? Oh, that's all synthol. We put, you know, yeah. <laughs> we put synthol on him at night when he goes to bed. He don't know it. Man. <laughs> I bang him twice a week, man. It took a long time. It took a long Slide time. Side delts, laterals, presses, all, heavy all, laterals. You know, lateral raises, uh, single arm DB presses, dumbbell presses, uh, working angles. I like to work at a 45 degree angle and do lateral raises. Do um, you hide your tattoos when you compete now? How does Bam hide his tattoos while competing? You don't. I don't. So you get as dark as you can, but never try to hide tattoos because the stuff that you hide it with, um, I forgot the name points. of it. They take points off for it. Why does Bam's shoulders look big? Because <laughs> he's a fucking about 20 pounds heavier than I am, too. <laughs> Bam's a lot bigger than me everywhere. What do you weigh? 204. 204, so I'm like 198. Uh, well, I was 204 last Wednesday. I'm weighing, neck. I mean... Next week I'll probably be 207. You know, some somewhere along the same lines. I'm not getting you heavier keto than diet. 20. Bam, do you follow keto diet? No. Is it necessary to do P? Shit, I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> Does Bam have good genetics? Jesus, I hope so. <laughs> Bam on sh a show maybe the focus October of next year. <laughs> Motivated now, team. 184, so I have a ways to go to 200. Get it done, bro. Asa Akira or Mia Khalifa? Asa! <laughs> Even though Mia, Mia went to Maryland, but, because I went to Maryland, but Asa, for sure. Let's go, Big Caleb. Best source of protein for endo person? What is it? Best source of protein for endo person. Endo amino acids. Eat amino acids, get amino acids. There is no best protein. Now we got five. Go up, come on. Five, good, come on. Up four, keep it going, no stop. Up, three, no rest. Up two more. One, one more, good. Squeeze, up, good. Good. Good job, bro. Good job, good man. I'm gonna leave that right there. That's cool, right here. I should put this in my lap. Yep. So here's what I was talking about earlier when we first started. Um, I've seen this exercise done a quite a few times, and they're doing it with an easy bar across their lap. So you're gonna see Jerry hit it. I'm use the straps because uh, you're adding weight to it. Good. Stability still under control. Still using the elbows. Pulling through the lats. I'm sure his arms are not fatigued. Good. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Fucking set, 
It's, a, it's an easy exercise when you look at it. When you try it, it's a little bit harder than it looks. Best way to warm up for a lifting session. I personally like to make sure my rotator cuffs are warmed up. I actually here early today before Bam got here to warm my rotator cuffs, but that in a regular body. So you'll feel it differently in the back. You'll definitely feel it. it actually like has less core engagement and more of the lats. When you're doing a pull up with your legs hanging, your core really has to engage while you're doing that. Competing again, I don't know. I mean, who knows? I want to say no, but I don't want to say yes either. So do you want to put that in your lap? Yep. Somebody asked about stretching. Sometimes I'll stretch the lat just a little bit. <laughs> I think most bodybuilders could be better at stretching. Break up some of that. All we want to do is lift weights and get huge. We don't care about mobility and shit like that most times. Yep. Yep. There you go. Come in, nice and easy. Squeeze them up. Good. Two. Come on. Up. Three. Good. Four. That's it. Up. Five. Good. Six. That's it. Squeeze them up. Seven. Good. Come on. Up. 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 Come on. Eight. Come on. Good. Come on, man. Nine. Come on. Up. Good. Come on. Let's go three. Three. Come on. Up. Two. Four. Up. Good. Got it. Woo! Aye, aye. Interesting exercises. Try it. Neutral grip rows with the machine over here. Gotcha. It's got a chest support. This, uh... Sorry. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. What's that? Power push. My power not with me. Oh, yeah, actually, I'm in here, yeah. yeah you need it? No, I don't. Uh, I if you had it. Yeah, I got it. I look, people look at me goofy at the gym when I'm using it. I get it out and I'm like, uh, they're always like, uh. I want to see what it looks like. Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah. Right, I'll give it to you when we're done filming this. So we're, we're on Leia Live right now on YouTube. So as soon as we're done, I'll show you. All right, so let's head over here. All right, so we're using another chest supported row. This is my fault because I have back problems and I threw my back out two weeks ago at Hanover Powerhouse doing dumbbell rows. I actually tried to pull it out of the rack and it was like a weird like angle when I stood up and pulled my back out. So let your, <laughs> to take my beanie off, let my hair breathe. <laughs> oh, come on, man. It's cold. All these fans in here. Yeah, see, it's like get sick weather outside. We train a failure usually on the last set or the kill set. Favorite back, Favorite exercise. back exercise. Shit, I don't know. All of them. I like everything. I'm starting to really enjoy uh, hammer strength uh, uh, pulls, though. Um, hammer strength rows. Um, and I like wide grip pull downs. Fuck, I like pull ups. It hurt the fuck when I, when I couldn't do pull ups and I. I tore the uh, bicep tendon last year, and I couldn't do pull-ups. I was mad as fuck. That was like the biggest thing I was mad at. Favorite leg I just saw, squat. I play wide receiver, I love to squat. What is it? Favorite leg I just saw, keep that back straight. <laughs> I think Jerry knows what he's doing. I put it, yeah, you saw that, right? <laughs> Bam, what's your height? Uh, six and change, close to six and one. What's, what's that you're drinking? I was drinking water. Yeah, sure, water. Yeah. Sure, you did 12 on yourself? Yeah. It feels a little light, but. That's cool. Yeah, single hand, so it's neutral grip. So. Well, the thing is, as you're pyramiding up, if you train a failure on a non-kill set, it's probably gonna be about 20 reps, right? Because you're literally not at your max set yet, so. Does he have a channel? Yeah, it's Bam Fit Physique, right? Yep. Bam Fit Physique is his channel. And IG is the same thing. IG is the same thing, Instagram. <clears throat> Jim, this is Team Ekin Road out in Maryland, Rockville, Maryland. We're just drinking water. It's not a long workout today, it's about an hour. We get about 45 minutes in now. If it's over an hour, I drink the intracell during.
higher ups for men's physique? Not necessarily. If you're trying to build muscle, you need to build muscle, you can train heavier. Can leg extensions move and improve squat strength? I guess so, but squatting is going to prove in spotting, you know? Yeah, this is just like a spur of the moment thing. Bam and I have been trying to do workout videos for like three or four months now, and neither one of our schedules line up. So he just happened to be off today. I was like, okay, let's do it then. But these live things, this actually could be something new that, uh, that we do. But for an injury, I don't really know injury-wise what you would do. Honestly, you'd have to, uh, bam, people are subbing to you right now. What's up? So you guys see that in the background? Wait, hang on, right there? That's Ani, if you guys remember her from my channel. She's done some stuff on here with that crazy functional Big stuff. Time. Grab the blonde woman. Grab the blonde eyes. Are you talking about her? What? Something about the blonde woman. Confuse the muzzle, babies. I don't know. Absolutely, Ashley. Hope you're doing well. Vegan protein. Okay, so interesting enough, vegan protein, you digest 10 to 30% less of plant-based protein. So you need to up the protein content to get the same amount of amino acids. So is it just as good? Yes, but you have to eat more protein as a vegan to get the same effect. Traps are usually, I don't train traps anymore, so I don't, but usually it was on shoulder day. Lunges, I'll do walking lunges. I don't do the in-place lunges. Steak and eggs diet. Who are these knuckleheads heads with the steak and egg diet? For like three weeks now, and I think it's different people. We're talking about the steak and eggs diet. I'm like, what? It's a keto diet. Show me, that, show me that diet. Jerry, love the vids. Take care, guys. Appreciate it, Corey. There's nothing special about a steak or an egg, but I mean, I could be wrong. Why? Dick and balls diet? <sighs> come on, yeah. man. There you go, man. That's how you do it. Why? Hit that and you're like, come on, why? I'm not going to do it. Bye-bye, fucko. Taste some you guys are totally Bam, will you shave on stream? Man, what the fuck? <laughs> Looking super pumped, trying to get there. That tattoo on your shoulder is sick as fuck. Oh, that's my uh, that that's my my take on having pumpkin delts. If I had a jack o' lantern, that's well, y'all know that's Venom's face. And uh, my tattoo artist is actually the newest uh winner of uh of uh he's the the Ink Master, DJ Tommy. He did my first my Incredible Hulk. Why do you have a line on your back? <laughs> I don't know how many know. Did you get stabbed? Yeah, from around here, man? Oh, uh, uh, a from vein? The area. How far oh, is that? Pennsylvania? I don't know. Yeah. Nah. Where you live? Uh, I've been no, stabbed before, though. For, first, it's the uh, right there, 20 stitches. What about that leg tag? Oh, the leg tag. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're a lot you know, bigger now. I can't show it. I can't. I don't think I lift my leg this high, but yeah. definitely, yeah. that's definitely one of my faves. You know. <laughs> Um, who else? Bam, are you natural? You cycle occasionally. Right now, I use the uh, Triandro Primal Labs. I mean, that's just just what I do. Tell me your secrets. I don't have none. I eat big. Eat big, live big, get big. What up, Irish Red? How do you avoid distractions in the gym? Hoodies and headphones. Blocks out the like, bullshit. My blind has been on. What happened so to the Andro like products from George PL? I believe they're. Uh, yeah, well, Jerry answered that question. I need delts in my back like that. Teach me. So you gonna I get there? What the link was, I that's gonna be. That's that's, thought, that's, that's um, a easy work. Tiny lived on the they did away with the Andros. Well, very really sad. Sure, like, you know, they, like, yeah, unfortunately, man. When they come, when they come with these new, with these new products and stuff like that. We gotta jump on them because they are definitely taking the the Andros off the yeah. show. Somebody asked. Pretty much Andros are done. So yeah, so you can notice more and more places not having them. So it's gonna be hard to get because that's what I've been using. It's gonna be it's gonna suck. Best way to target rear delts. Uh, I like a uh, I like bent over uh, lateral raises, um, but hold it at a at a hammer strength. I mean at a hammer um, angle. I like the uh, pec deck reverse and I like uh, face pulls. Um, Face pulls in any um, in any variation as well. You could put the rope on a um, on a low row and and angle it up just like if you're doing an upright row. Look, I got cheated out of my set. Ain't that a bitch? My man Caleb jumped in there on me. You need to do whatever it takes. You're absolutely right. How 
Damn. My man Caleb is big as fuck. The white guy is huge. <laughs> well versed in personal training. Um, I've been um, I've been um, certified in ACE since '02. What's the replacement for Black Devil? It's a. Uh, Jerry just said it. It's a. Uh, I'll get back on it. It's not pyretic. It's. Yeah. It. I'll, I'll get back to you, Chris. Hurricane. Hurricane. Yeah, that's it. White guy don't give a fuck if you record him. Nope. White guy is yo. What's his YouTube channel? What's up? YouTube channel. Nowadays, everybody thinks everybody's got a YouTube channel. Uh, they wanted to know the uh, replacements for the Andros and the. Uh, so Chris asked for the. There's so Huracan for. Uh, Huracan is replacement for Black Devil, and as far as the Andros go, we have Primavar that came out that is the replacement for that. Again, nothing is like the Andros. The other one, the uh, Primavar, is a super dose laxogenin, but people are absolutely loving that. You literally feel pumped all the time when you're on it. And it's safe for women to take too, like my, my wife takes it, so. Height and weight of Kayla. Kayla, what do you, how tall are you, what do you weigh? I'm 5'8", uh, about 240. 5'8", 240. Does having sex before your training ruin your workout? If you do it right, it does. Because <laughs> you should have like zero fucking energy and feel like doing anything afterwards, so. So I do have Middle Eastern relatives, but I don't know where we're at over there. Forearms, nothing. I don't do anything forearms. I don't think any of us really train forearms. Do forearms? No. Nope. Thoughts on John Anderson deep water method. I don't know what the fuck that is. No, I'm not Muslim. The beard throws everybody off though. A lot of people think I'm Muslim because of the beard, but. The winner for Neanderthal has not been announced. But I'm gonna have to grab that off my uh oh, shit. The phone call came in and knocked it off. Fuck. Said, I okay, it's still going cool. The winner of the Neanderthal won't be none of these assholes we blocked. <laughs> don't say nothing stupid. You do a shave. So right now a call came in. I don't know if there's any disruption in that or not, but do you have your phone? No, I'm gonna check out my Instagram. We'll pick the uh, we'll pick the winner right now for the thing. We're gonna pick the winner right now. I figured fuck it. We're gonna wait till the end, but we got about eight minutes left. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Which one did I put it on now? 26. This one, right? Yep. We're going to pick a live one. We're picking live right now. One. This one right there. Above dudes. I'm trying to get there, man. Jerry's been there. <laughs> Caleb is definitely there. <laughs> Total sets for this workout. Let's go random. So, all right. So, randomly, I'm going to pick this person off my Instagram right now. We're actually, can you even see that? See that? Why the fuck? It's just like, wait, anyways. So, Sean Yi, S H O N Y A E W I Z Z. I have to pick the one I can't fucking pronounce, right? So, Sean Yi, Sean A Wizzle. You won the Neanderthal. Hit me up via email with your um, your address and stuff, and I'll send that out to you. Does masturbation drain you? Oh, Jesus Christ. There you go. Bam's getting good at this. Uh... Bye, fucktard. You're saying my name totally wrong. <laughs> yeah, I assume it's a long name. Of course, I picked the longest one. But yeah, hit me up. Email me your, uh, your info. I'll get that right out to you this week. Congrats, Shawnee O'Wizzell. Congrats. <laughs> Whoever said that just now, like, that's probably them because they know how to say the name. Yeah. I apologize if I missaid it. Jerry's doing the whole fucking stack. He's setting the bar. What did he win? He won a uh, free, Neanderthal. free Neanderthal product from uh, Prime Evil. Come on, Jerry, come back to the dark side. <laughs> there are not too many of us at 280. Do you guys shave body hair and look to look more buff? The only time I shave um, body hair is when I'm about to go on stage. Yeah, I'm like a fucking gorilla on my back, so I shave my back all the time. I just get it on my arms. How tall is Jerry? Five, eight, and... Three quarters. Three quarters. How many sets y'all do per body part per week? I like four to five sets. Each, uh, each exercise, depending on how it go. 
It's hard as fuck. Looking good, guys. Appreciate the drama. Let's catch, let's catch a glimpse of Jerry hitting his whole stack. I think this is it. So this is like the fourth or fifth exercise. So we're coming up on 56 minutes now. So we're just gonna shut it off after an hour. Do some abs, do some cardio. Somebody said I look like Brock Lesnar. What the fuck? Isn't he like blonde or like a little flat top and shit? No tattoos, Brock Lesnar. Yeah, it's hard to breathe. Is that thing pushing on your chest like that? No, I'm not balking. I'm just kind of maintaining. Yeah, so as you get towards failure, you notice the range of motion shortens. You can't get the full contraction anymore. That's what positive failure is. Best bench press is 495 for one. I always said 500, which is bullshit. It's 495. I always rounded it up, but I really didn't hit the 500. Breathing weird. Well, fucking you try that and see how you breathe. Best squat. I don't know if I ever maxed out on squats. I never looked at it as like a big important thing. I just did legs. Tanning, I haven't been tanning since, uh, shit. Where the hell, uh, the Olympia. For the Olympia. All right, Keo, last time, man, here we go. Make it count. This dude is huge, he's not even using. He's not even using straps, he's like, fuck it. <laughs> My bad, yeah, Lord, tall ass. Man, put your hoodie back on. You're devonimating me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Okay, pull him up, man. Good. Come on. Somebody said take the hoodie off. I know. And now you're saying put it back on. The fuck, man? You're making me feel bad. <laughs> <sighs> what are both of you? I don't know what my macros are. I eat instinctively, so I have no idea. I just but eat. they're the same every day, so. Come on, Caleb. Pull him up, man. Nice and easy. Come on. Up. Porch monkey. Thank yeah. you. You know, I never was called that until like three or four months ago. And then, uh... <laughs> what you need to get the fuck out of here? Yeah, okay. I guess that wasn't me. Do I lift heavy if I'm stripping and ripping? Yes. What's your What's opinion, opinion on Scooby? Scooby? I think Scooby's a pioneer. He did this first. He was the first one to pull up YouTube stuff. Um, I never really paid attention to what he said. I don't know what the fuck he talked about or anything like that, but he yes, pioneered it, so... Cat's wild and what's that? He's acting uh, like an asshole. Oh... <laughs> uh, Come to Australia. I'll show you. So March, third weekend of March, Melbourne. Damn. Can I make that trip? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're coming up on the uh, the 60 minute mark. Who's the, the monkey? monkey? Hang on, I got it. Fuck. I got it. Fuck you. <laughs> Respect Scooby. Nice. Yeah. You still take CBD oil? Yes. No. <laughs> PCT, PCT is still necessary. Anything on Primeval? No, not anymore. So there's no more, no more Andro. So yeah, the Melbourne Arnold Classic. Take your shirts off. <laughs> so there is going to be a physique update. Did you already do yours? Did, okay, so we did physique updates. Watch the videos that are going to follow this one in the next couple of days. You'll see physique updates. Dude, yes, yeah, absolutely. Man. Man. Fuck. I'm so mad when I when I did the Arnold a couple years ago, and I was right there at the booth when, when Jerry was with uh, Five Percent, and he asked me, he was like, "Man, you want to meet Rich?" And I was like, "Man, I'm, I was about to go over to to the on booth, and I missed my opportunity to get a picture with him. So I'm kind of pissed off at that, but." I, at least I got to see him in person. <laughs> Dude, he's fucking huge. Nigger dumbass. Joe Rogan, Christ, you see the name? The fuck? Joe fuck Rogan. You, Dude, Joe this Rogan. is nothing. Wait, wait till your channel grows. Wait till you see some of the shit that comes your way. <laughs> that death threats calling me stuff. Like fucking, I'm telling you, man. LL Cool J. <laughs> take cool, it, man. man. Take it. As long I love as that, man. Like, big Appreciate it, Dan. Yeah, yeah, man. Bullshit like that. I, I always get like Drake or Genuine or some shit like that. So LL is my man. Don't even read that shit. It's good. It's good advice, but Appreciate still, it pisses you off, you know. Thanks for leaving. Absolutely, guys. We're coming up on an hour now. Good. Thank you guys for tuning in. Keep an eye out for the videos that we're going to put up in the next two days. Drop them back to back. Caleb, anything you want to say, man? It was awesome, you know, inviting everyone out and 
Yeah, cool. Instead, he got like a personal training session with us, so that's pretty cool. So yeah. it's cool as fuck. You guys Bye, keep Chris. an eye out. See you, Crystal. Keep an eye out for the next one, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bruh. Who the fuck's your butt? Right there. Oh, yeah.